Look at this little monster. So she needs to be strapped into everything now. Sitting up on your own. You're going everywhere. You just want to move, move, move. <laughs> You're so strong. Is crawling right around the corner for you? A couple of pranksters, Nikki and John. And then little Iris came along. With a mini zoo of adorable pets. You bet you get the best of Nikki and John's life. What the? So John ordered a food processor off Amazon, and that is a giant box. I think he ordered an industrial food processor for, like, factories. I think it's got a lot of, like, packaging, but yeah, it's, it's large. <laughs> is that for making baby food, right? Uh, well, and other stuff? Ah, oh, that's a horrible noise. Among many other things, yes. Ah, <laughs> look. How many accessories this thing has? Let's get a brush. Cool. So it has a mini chopping blade. These are really sharp too. A regular processing blade. It has a dough blade. It'll be making pizza. Here's an adjustable slicer so I can slice things. A whisk. Oh yeah, look at that. A reversible blade. A julienne blade. A french fry cutter. Oh yeah. And then this thing. Sweet. Got the instructions here, I'm gonna have to read all about this. How cool is that? We got a food processor. <laughs> Nose, boop. Nose, boop. <laughs> hey, what's going on guys? We're gonna be leaving to do, go run some errands in a little bit here, and I have a treatment in my hair. If it looks a little funky, that's why. We went in mud like the mud pool when we were at Glen Ivy Spa the other day and it totally dried out my hair. I got some of the mud in my hair and my hair felt like straw so I'm leaving a treatment in there for a while and I'm gonna go out in public like this. <gasps> Your first steps! <gasps> Earliest walking baby! That's actually really good. Look at her go. I know. <laughs> I wish that she could just like jump down and run around in circles. It'd be so cute. Mm-hmm. You're adorable. She's wearing a shirt for daddy today. I just want to take a minute to talk about audible.com. Audible has recently been sponsoring a few of our videos and it is such an awesome website. I recently downloaded the baby book, everything you need to know about your baby from birth to age two. Iris is going through a lot of changes right now, especially from that six month to the one year age. There's so many different changes. She's on solid foods. She's just starting to crawl and roll around and moving and doing all sorts of different really cool, cute stuff. And every day is better than the last. So I downloaded the baby book to get an inside perspective on what Iris is going through and some of the changes that are occurring and what I as a dad should be doing to help support and facilitate those changes. Audible is an amazing website. They have over 180,000 different audiobooks that you guys can download. And right now, Audible is giving you guys the chance to download a free audiobook. All you have to do is go to audible.com forward slash Nikki and John, sign up for an account, and you can download your free audiobook today. And this book has really made a difference in my life so far because it's just helping me understand some of the changes that Iris is going through. Again, that's audible.com, Nikki and John. There's a link in the description below. You can head on over to audible.com and download your free book now. Oh man, I love Beck. I'm so sad that song is over. So uh, we have to drop off the Volvo to get its tires and brakes fixed. I think that's what it needs. We're doing that right now. In case you guys can't tell by my voice, I'm pretty sick. <laughs> I couldn't even vlog yesterday. Iris and I have a cold together. It was funny, I was talking to Michael, April's boyfriend, and I was like, every time Iris gets sick, I get sick too. We seem to always be sick together. And he says, wow, you two must spend a lot of time together. <laughs> we decided to come and get some pizza. I always feel really munchy when I have a cold. Isn't there a saying, starve a fever, feed a cold? I think there is. I think so. But I got a slice of barbecue chicken pizza. John got sausage and mushroom. My dad really liked this pizza place. Every time he calls me now or I talk to him on the phone, he said he asks, "Oh, are you going down to Georgie's and getting a slice of slices of pizza? Have you been down there lately?" <laughs> okay, we are at the grocery store buying stuff. So we have a new food processor, and we're gonna get food for Iris to make baby food. I think we'll start with bananas, maybe some apples. 
and this week I'm actually making eggs benedict for my cooking channel. So I picked up all that good stuff. And maybe some sweet potatoes. Man, look how shiny these onions are. I just want to buy it because it's shiny. Do you want a coffee? No, uh, when you were at the gym this morning, I went to Jack in the Box and got an iced coffee. And I got a large, so I think that's, if I get another one, that's too much caffeine. They have good iced coffee there. I had to. I was so tired. <laughs> John, hey. have you been working out? You have a better body than me. Thanks. I had a little work done. <laughs> Look at all those grocery bags. Have fun putting that stuff away. I broke an ale earlier today playing volleyball. Ugh, I'm so glad I got this nail file because it hurts so bad. So this is what I'm doing to try and get some moisture back into my hair. I put some coconut oil in my hair last night and then today I got this satinique overnight repair treatment and I didn't leave it in overnight. I added it to the coconut oil and had it in there for a few hours but I just got it today so I couldn't put it in last night. And now I have a revitalizing deep conditioner mask on it from the same brand and I'm just gonna hang out with this on my hair for a little while and then wash it out. But we have two women come and professionally clean our house once every two weeks and one of the girls sells this stuff too. She has catalogs full of like beauty stuff and some other things. And I ordered this from her a few weeks ago and I'm trying it out. And I really like it so far. It smells good. And after I put this in, I could just feel moisture coming back into my hair. My hair was starting to feel really soft when I touched it. Are you playing? Are you playing? You having fun? Nobie, 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 no, 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 be 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 no, what are you doing? When I went to the spa with April, that was the longest time I've ever been away from Iris. And I guess towards the end of the night, it didn't go so well. John said that she just screamed until I got home. She screamed for like an hour and a half towards nighttime. And when I walked in the door, like I just said, hi baby. And she stopped crying immediately. And I took her and she was done crying. And then I just carried her into the bedroom and she fell asleep. She missed her mama. John thinks that's bad though, that she should be able to be with someone else for the day. Avocados are surprisingly high in vitamin C. I looked up the nutrition info for all of the baby foods that we bought to, give, to make our own baby food for Iris, and avocados have the most vitamin C out of the fruits that we got too. Isn't that interesting? We'll just mash this up extra good for her. Now we have a nice puree. I mixed some of my breast milk in there too. Ready to try avocado? Uh, oh, always taking the spoon. Oh, is that different tasting? A little stronger. I wanted to give her something with vitamin C because she has a cold. Oh, there's daddy. What do you think? Daddy's getting his trampoline on. I think she likes Homemade it. Homemade baby food. <laughs> she always makes a face, but at least she's opening her mouth, too. Mmm, avocado. Yeah, she likes it. Okay, she's not that big of a fan of the avocado. Just kidding. Now are you smiling? She kept going like, ah, 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 And then she started crying when I tried to give it to her again. You want to try again? I would like it if you ate something with vitamin C. Say, ah. Say, ah, you're teasing me now. Oh, you see your dad? <laughs> your dad's mine, we just kidding. Making faces at Iris back there. Sweet potatoes are going over a little better. A jar of sweet potatoes, the pre-made stuff. Maybe she just doesn't like mommy's cooking. You are a mess. 
So I actually think going to Glen Ivy Spa the other day made me even more sick because it was very cold when we were there. I'll give my Glen Ivy Spa review since I'm sick and I can't really do too much vlogging like action wise today. But this place is supposed to be like a world renowned spa and we've heard a lot of good things from other people. So we were expecting more than what happened when we were there. I don't know if it was just a fluke day, like we just went there on a bad day or what. But it costs $65 to get in, which is kind of a lot, but they have like a lot of amenities that you can use. Just a lot of them weren't working properly when we were there, like the mud room after you get out of the cold mud pool and smear the mud on. You're supposed to go in this mud room and the mud's supposed to, to dry and it was so cold in there. Everybody was shivering and the mud didn't even dry. So I guess they didn't like turn up the temperatures to compensate for how cold it was outside and it was rainy and stuff. And then the steam room wasn't working. I was hoping to use the steam room to like clear my nose a little bit because I wasn't feeling well. And uh, the sauna wasn't warm enough there either. And then they were out of a lot of stuff. But don't get me wrong, we still had a lot of fun because we were there together as a group and we had fun with each other. We just expected more from what we heard about this place. And I think it made me more sick because it was so cold the whole time. Well guys, since I'm sick, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog for the day and try to get some rest, watch a movie before I go to bed or something. John is, I don't know, fiddling in the corner. I really wanna process some food. <laughs> He's gonna cook some dinner for us now. But yep, yeah, wrapping up this vlog, please go ahead, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and always remember that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah.